Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello guys, welcome to the Direct Education Project video tutorial series for the jQuery and in this session number 17 we are going to discuss the element selectors in this program and for this thing we are just going and create this and create a new program here and first of all save it with the name of uh, element selector we already discussed the tail view of the element thing but here I'm just giving us something a new uh, way of using the element selector with uh, changing the text in the values element selectors and as we always perform some uh, primary task here and that was the script type javascript and add the source of the jQuery files and here the jQuery files and close the script and after that we are going to add some element here and uh, I'm going to add the div element this is a, an element a class is equal to main and uh, after that we are going to just do that and here I will use a paragraph and uh, this is an element uh, h1 use of the element selector okay now we will use some paragraphs here and I am using uh, some paragraph this is one first paragraph this is second paragraph this is the third paragraph so as much as paragraph you want to take here and after that I am using to add a script type is equal to javascript and the so and here we will write the program here and <coughs> if I am using this one and uh, here is the program and dollar sign and I'm using the p and the dot text value uh, will be something like uh, hello dear dot education students whatever we will write here and use it okay but first of all I think that we need to uh, you know this and add some document ready model or whatever document dot ready method and in this we are going to show the values and uh, here is the dollar sign value ok dot p dot text ok now we run this program and see what will happen in preview in Google Chrome and uh, use the selectors but no information was shown here. Okay, so we have something over. Oh, we always mistake this one. If we use a single inverted comma, then we will use it, uh, not uh, the double quotes on one side. Oh, you okay? This will be the fine. You can see that uh, in all the paragraphs, all the text was shown because all the paragraphs have the same values. But if uh, we will use the value of the p and just use this operator and first, we already told you this in the previous lecture, and you can just check it out. Check it out that this is the first paragraph graph okay and after that we are just going to refresh this page and you can see that the value of the first paragraph change but the value of the the two paragraph has not changed similarly if we want to give some id of the paragraph of the and something like id is equal to special one then okay and now we are discussing the paragraph uh, with the ID so we are using P uh, with the ID something special dot text okay so here is missing some inverted comma and uh, you are welcome 
on this page so in this way we uh, can create some divs or elements and whenever we want it we can display the data in between so this is the method in which we can use the selectors thank you very much for watching this tutorial and allah hafiz please subscribe our channel for the tutorial